thing starts when you get to the gate. And they always send you to gate 59. It's always fucking miles away. Where's gate one? I've never seen the fucking gate one. <laughs> Why do we have to walk the first mile and a half? What are they trying to do? Save on petrol? <laughs> I think that's why they wear your luggage, to see how far they can make you walk, you know. They go like, ah, oh, I see you've got a lot of luggage there. Gay 95. <laughs> I was going abroad. I'm Welsh, I bought shorts. <laughs> T-shirts, sunglasses. They don't even sell them in Wales. I had to go to Bristol to buy them. <laughs> I was excited and then I bought myself a brand new suitcase as well, one of the posh ones with the wheels and, I, and then I flew to Dublin. I will show you what I found when I arrived in Dublin airport just a few hours later. That. It's not funny. Anyway, I get the last laugh, it still works. You can see where some hilarious baggage handlers put a heavy label on that, look. Bend your knees is the advice to anybody tackling that baby. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. The flight was about the flight was about nine ninety nine. I wasn't expecting miracles. <laughs> if I'm completely honest with you, the first three times this went round the baggage carousel, I laughed. <laughs> In the unlikely event, this is a very suspect phrase. Especially coming as it does from an industry that is willing to lie about arrival and departure times. <laughs> in the unlikely event of a sudden change in cabin pressure, roof flies off! <laughs> An oxygen mask will drop down in front of you, place the mask over your face and breathe normally. Well, I have no problem with that. I always breathe normally when I'm in a 600 mile an hour uncontrolled vertical dive. I also shit normally. In the unlikely event of a water landing. Am I mistaken or does this sound somewhat similar to crashing into the ocean? Your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. Well, imagine that. My seat cushion. Just what I need to float around the North Atlantic for several days, <laughs> clinging to a pillow full of beer farts. 